All right, so we're checking out this 10-inch Android tablet from a company called C-Idea, and this is the P1250. Uh, there's a absolute ton of these Android tablets from China all over Amazon, and uh, in a nutshell, what is different about this one, what I think kind of makes this one stand out compared to the other ones that are 10-inch and around $100, uh, which is what this one is, is the screen. So uh, a lot of the ones that are around 100 bucks, they're going to come with a 1280 by 800 screen. This one comes with a much higher resolution 1920 by 1200 screen. Uh, it's not the brightest screen in the world. It's about 300 to 400 nits, somewhere in that range at maximum setting. Uh, so if you are going to use it outside in direct sunlight, it might be a little bit hard to see uh, but in the shade it's fine you can see it no problem indoors of course no problem at all uh, so in terms of what you get in the box not much you get the tablet itself you get a small instruction guide uh, USB-C cable and no wall no wall adapter uh, so you need your own wall adapter for charging this and you have this um, USB-C to USB-A OTG adapters for data transfer and that's pretty much all you get. Oh, you do get one additional spare screen protector. So this one does come with one pre-applied on the screen. It's kind of um, slightly matte, but it's still pretty shiny, pretty reflective. And then there's a spare one in the box as well. But that's that's everything that comes in the package. And then I have it on a stand here just so that uh, the camera isn't constantly refocusing. But as you can see here, it is very reflective. It is pretty thin. It's about, I think, nine millimeters thick. There's the USB-C port there for charging. And you have, I think that's a microphone port, uh, volume rocker here, and then you have your lock button here. And then you have a three and a half millimeter audio jack for your headphone jack. And in the back here, you have a flash and then the single camera. It is uh, 1080p video only, and like I think it's like 10 megapixel photos. I'll put a few samples of them up here. Pretty typical of an Android tablet. Uh, not much to write home about. They're okay in a pinch. They will take some decent photos in good in good lighting conditions, uh, but pretty typical for uh, an Android tablet. Here's a look at the rest of the back here. It's like an aluminum gray color here, and there's your branding in the back, and then it's got this kind of uh, two-tone strippers, like a blue and a gray two-tone metal back. Uh, kind of reminds me a little bit of a Samsung tablet. Maybe that's kind of what they're going for. Obviously, all these tablets are trying to look like a Samsung tablet or an iPad, and this does a pretty good job of that. Uh, metal on the bottom there, you got your two speaker uh, grills, and kind of see the camera to focus there. So you got one there and one there, and that is where the audio comes out, just out of the bottom. So when the uh, tablet is horizontal, the audio comes out of the bottom. Nothing on the right side, just metal. Yeah, so for me, I think putting it on a little stand like this, uh, the audio will, will project downwards, and you'll, you know, it's okay. I mean, it's not, nothing to write home about. So obviously, if you want real, uh, better audio, use some uh, Bluetooth speakers or use um, some uh, headphones, the headphone jack over there. So in terms of RAM and storage, it's advertising eight gigabytes of RAM, but it, just like all the other manufacturers, they're doing the uh, basically four gigabytes of physical RAM plus four gigabytes of virtual RAM and which then they say it's an eight, eight gigabytes total uh, they all do that um, to kind of boost their numbers but the actual amount of physical RAM is four gigabytes and the amount of onboard storage is 128 gigabytes so I think those numbers are adequate and reasonable for the price point. There is a, a TFT slot here on the side where you can pop that tray out and put in a micro SD card and you can get an additional one terabyte of additional storage if that's what you're looking for. So this is only running Android 12, not Android 13, so it's a little bit unfortunate. So I think maybe they put their money into the screen um, you know, in terms of the manufacturers out there in this uh, around $100 price point and 10 inches. You're going to get a lower resolution screen, about the same amount of uh, onboard storage and RAM. So that's about the same, but a lot of the other ones will come with Android 13. So that might be a deal breaker for some of you guys that need uh, the latest Android, which is actually Android 14, 
but most of the tablets these days are going to run Android 13. So um, in terms of usability, functionality, there's not a lot of difference between Android 12 and Android 13. And I, in terms of whether or not this will be updated to 12 to, from 12 to 13 at some point in the future, I don't think that's the case. A lot of the, a lot of the times, uh, these tablets, they, while they do have a, a pretty long warranty, this one is, I think has a two-year warranty, um, uh, Android updates and those, that kind of support typically isn't included for the price and that's, you know, because it is a, in the budget category. If it, having the latest Android and security updates, et cetera, are more important to you, then I would recommend something like the uh, Samsung, uh, the Tab A9 Plus. That's going to be also like a 10, I think it's an 11-inch tablet, uh, but I believe that's uh, about twice the price. It's around $200 instead of $100. The other thing that's great about this one is it has a really large battery. I think it's like 6,000 or 6,800 milliamp hours. Um, basically from full to empty, I can pretty much use it for about a week of on-off on use. Uh, you know, surfing the web, watching videos, that kind of thing. Um, if you're using it pretty heavily, I would say the on time or the on on screen time amount is going to be somewhere around five to six hours total but if you're just kind of using it like you would a normal person you know you know grab look at some quick emails um quick productivity stuff you know uh reading documents pdfs um watching a quick video that kind of stuff um this is this battery will last a very very long time uh you probably won't have to even take a charger with you if you're going to take this on a trip uh, if it's only for a few days so in terms of the uh, MCU on here and the GPU it's on here, it's a Unisoc uh, T606. So pretty generic, uh, it's like an eight core processor. Um, they, it does do games, you can do you know decent games on there and fairly high resolution. Uh, certain types of games, I think more like 3D shooter type games, high end graphics uh, are gonna be lowered down to like medium or low levels. Uh, but for the most part, you can play most games out there, except for the really high-end stuff. And if you're a high-end, hardcore gamer, you probably want to look at something in the uh, two to $300 price range with like the latest Snapdragon, you know, like Gen 8, you know, or, or Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, something like that. Uh, much more expensive, of course, and a lot, and those are pretty hard to find as well. Most of the tablets in this price range are going to have this type of uh, processor, and it's going to work fine for most things like video, and uh, will cover most games, but not not, the, not necessarily the highest end games. Anyway, overall, I think that this is a pretty good value for the money. If you can find this around a hundred bucks or maybe a little bit less. Uh, check the link in the video description. Coupon codes will change, price change fluctuates over time, of course. Could be more, could be a little bit less. If you can, you know, if there's a coupon code or whatever or discount promotion going on, if you can get this in the $90, $95 range, I would say that's pretty good for, uh, you know, the, at the time of this video, which is July of 2024. Anyway, if you got any questions about this, let me know down in the comment section below. That'll do it for this video, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.